door ain't gonna open itself. I don't like this. Look, you ain't gotta do nothing. Just keep an eye out. I'm gonna go in and get what I need, and then we'll get out of here. Piece of cake. I just don't like it. Yeah, well, you don't seem to mind the money. Miss Lewis, please stand. This is a serious crime, young lady. On the charge of accessory to the robbery of a pharmacy, you have been found guilty. I'm looking at your life, graffiti, vandalism, shoplifting, not exactly Heading in the right direction, are we, Miss Lewis? No, sir. I think it's time that you start taking this a bit more seriously. You are hereby adjudicated a delinquent and a child in need of supervision. I sentence you to 30 days in juvenile detention center. Oh. However, I am willing to delay sentencing upon you spending 60 days at the Spirit Riders Equine Therapy Ranch. If you successfully complete the full 60-day period, I will bring you back into this courtroom and drop the charges. 60. Your Honor, we greatly appreciate the generosity of your sentence, and we accept the offer to attend the Spirit Rider Ranch. Smart decision. And Ms. Lewis, I hope you make the best of the 60 days, because you do not want to come back through my court again. Am I clear? Yes, sir. Did we ever catch a break today? You, my friend, got lucky. 60 days at a horse camp does not feel lucky. It is. Hey. Oh, look who decided to make it. Hi, Daddy. I was here, I was just in the back. Yeah, that figures. Do you come alone or did you bring her? Hi, sweetheart. So 60 days on a horse ranch. Yeah, great. It's a hell of a lot better than Juvie. Yeah, you act like you don't like horses. 
Can we just go? I used to, Dad, when I was a little kid. Right, cheerleader. You got the legs for it. Yeah, that is never gonna happen. I can't believe this is how I'm spending my last night of freedom. Oh, don't be so melodramatic. I mean, you're going to a horse camp, not prison. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Seriously, I can't even go to the bathroom. What do you wanna do? Come with me and watch? Well, if you're not back in five minutes, I'm gonna come looking. Thanks for the little confidence, Mom. <laughs> You've got a lot of nerve, you know that? Did you cut it out? You left me. He, he was right behind you. I had to get out of there. You drove up right in front of me. What did you want me to do? Sit there and let you both into the car? Babe, I already got two strikes. I can't believe it. You're a jerk, you know that? Yeah. But you like me this way. Yeah. Well, now I've got two months at some worst camp. What? Yeah, let me up. Therapy, huh? Yeah, because I'm a troubled team of issues. <laughs> you got off so easy. No, I didn't. It was your fault. You could have locked me up and then lost the key. You're the one who walked with us. I didn't. You know, I heard of these places. It's not like they grade you or nothing. All you gotta do is show up. It's like being grounded, except for horses. You want me to come see you? There's no visitors allowed. Oh, are those the rules? Because I would never want to break them. Look, you don't want to go. Let's hop in my truck and get out of here. Tonight. Right now. I can't. And I'm always on the way. So? At least I get two months away from my mom. I'll text you? There's no phones allowed either. You go with the rules again. Sneak it. Check it at night. We'll meet up. Right. And then when I get back, I can get away. We'll keep running and never look back. <laughs> You need to be there. I can't. Well, she's your daughter. Change your plans. Look, I wish I could, but I can't. I, I, I tried. You know darn well that's a lie. 
She just doesn't fit into your new life anymore, does she? That's not true. Oh, okay, listen, listen. How is she doing with all this? I mean, are you two talking at all? We either start fighting or the conversation turns to him. I mean, I, just, I can't handle it anymore. She needs her dad. What do you mean? I mean, I'm at my wit's end and I don't know what to do about it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe this horse camp thing will be good for her. Well, you know we're going to get a call in a week. She's going to mess this up, too. Look, just give her a chance, please. Well, you know what? When we do, you're going to be the one to go get her because I'm not doing this by myself. By yourself? What are, you, what are you talking about, Marlene? Do you realize I was there that night? You know, I lost my boy, too. No, no. this It's, it's not always just about you, okay? Oh, crap. Oh. Just, you know what? Be a father for once. Damn it. Casey, sweetie. Casey. I'm getting dressed. Well, well, is everything okay? God, Mom, I said I'm getting dressed. Can you give me some privacy? Well, I made you breakfast. Just come out and eat before it gets cold. Welcome to the freak show. Hush, you don't know anything about these people. I know enough. I'm gonna go out on a limb, but I'm guessing you're the only one here because of the court order. So I just climbed down off that throne, Miss High and Mighty. Your daddy would have been here, but he just, he had something come up. He couldn't get out of it. No, he didn't. He did. No, he didn't. I don't even know why you tried to defend him. He did leave you after all. Sorry. Hey, it's okay, right? One less grown up to harass me. Look, you just need to make the best of the situation. Our family fortune doesn't afford us too many alternatives. Come on. Come on, let's go. Excuse me. You work here? Yes, ma'am. Neil Parker. Well, I'm just here to check in my daughter. You must be Casey. Mm. We've been expecting you. Neil. And you must be your mother. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Marlene Lewis. Mm -hmm. Is there anything I need to do? I need your signature right here. Okay. Is that the horses that they ride? <laughs> no, ma'am. It's his first day, too. The horses that the campers are working with are much calmer. Okay, that's it. Well, let's get you settled in, Casey. Casey, honey. Can you just please stay out of trouble? Can you try? Love you, too, Mom. Casey, honey, I really am going to miss you. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. I'm sure. You can call me if you need anything, okay? 
Please don't embarrass me. And she does it anyway. Oh, that's big. Good. Okay. Please stop. This is important. Wait. I am gonna go now. She'll be fine, man. You have my word. I assume you read the rules. Yeah. Which include no smoking. We have a lot of people here, most of them with special needs. You understand? Got it. Keep your nose clean, do your job, and we'll get along just fine. Oh, I hope we can become the best of friends. You're bunking in here. Go on in, grab a bed, put your things down. Meet me at the stables in an hour. Yes, sir. Welcome to camp. This is your bed. Oh, there's not really a place for stuff. I have a storage bin I keep under my bed. If you want me to find you one, I can. A whole storage locker for me? You'd be surprised what a luxury that is around here. I'm Claire. Good for you. Okay, I get it. Well, it was nice to meet you, Casey. You're the only newbie around here. It's kind of easy to figure out. See you around. Hello? Good, you're here. That's what I do. Well, for starters, that stall could use a good cleaning. You can fill up the bucket over there. You're joking, right? <laughs> no, ma'am. Some kind of labor therapy? It's work. That's why you're here, dear. It's slave labor. <laughs> what about the horse therapy stuff, huh? That's for pain guests. I think there might be some kind of misunderstanding here. You're here on a work release program. No, 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 that can't be right. This is bull. Unless you want to go to juvie. Come find me when you're done. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> but are you the horse police? You could say that. Give me that. Hey! <laughs> rules are rules. It's a firehouse, look around you. You can't tell me what to do. Oh, yes I can. This is my place, I make the rules. Well, I'm not a guest, I work here. Yep, that makes me your boss. What? The pack. Come on. Seriously? Yes. Thank you. Cell phone? I don't have one. No? Mm -hmm. Okay. My name is Rex, and you are Casey. 
I know everything about you, who you are, and why you're here. That's creepy. You really got a smart mouth on you, don't you? <laughs> There's a couple of ways you can do things here. You can do it the easy way or the hard way. It's your choice. Doesn't matter to me. Honestly, this is a real fire hazard, this place. Whatever. You might want to try that nicotine gum. It's a good substitute. Yeah, well, not really, but anyway, it's better than nothing. Yep. Might ease the pain a bit. Come on. Now that you work for me, I'll show you what we do around here. Horse is one of the most beautiful and graceful creatures on God's green earth. They're a lot like people. They like to talk. And if you're willing to listen, they'll tell you exactly how they feel. They'll tell you if they're nervous, or frustrated, or scared. That woman really knows her way around horses. All those things she said, they true. Every word of it. Are you afraid of horses? No. Why don't you get him up here and pet him? Right there. Good job. Almost lunch. But you got some raking to do. There you go. Come on. First day. Hey, Mike. They're too noisy over there. Well, you're more than welcome to sit here. She, she's new. She is. She's helping out around here. You, you shouldn't wear headphones at the Whoa, table. What are you doing? Mike, that's not polite. It's rude to wear headphones at the table. Seriously, dude, what is your problem? Okay. Casey, this is Mike. Mike, this is Casey. You, you shouldn't wear those in here. Well, I'm doing it anyway. But, but, but it's not polite. Well, I'm not polite, so it's perfect. What? Are you a counselor? Mike, Casey's helping out with things. She's doing chores, slave labor. She, she, she's a slave? <laughs> no, she's not a slave. That, that was a joke? <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> All right, well, this has been way too much fun, but I'm gonna go get back to my slave labor. Wasn't a joke. No, that's not going to do it. Give it to me. Let me show you something. You curl it in smaller circles. Always go in the opposite direction of the hair. That's how you get the dirt out. See what I'm doing? They're horses. Aren't they always dirty? Not if you brush them. There you go. You brush your hair, don't you? Even if it's dirty, you still brush it. Well, that's different. Well, they like the way it feels, don't you? You should talk to them, too. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. No, they like it. I know exactly what you're doing. You do, huh? What am I doing? Yeah. And I'm not talking to you, that lady, or this horse. I've been talking to you people for two years, and all it is is a big crock. I don't care if you recite the Gettysburg Address to this horse. It likes the sound of your voice. 
strengthens the bond. So with all the weird bubbles you got going on in your head, you were bound to come up with something good. He might even think you're a nice person. Keep going against the growth. From the head to the rump and up the other side. Hey, Casey, how's it going? Pitchy. I heard you got in with the horses today. Wasn't it cool? Um, if you consider a day of chores and shoveling horse crap cool. Uh, hi, hi, Casey. Hi, hi, Claire. Hey, Mike. You getting some good horse time today? Yeah, I, I, I uh, brushed my horse today. Uh, it helps build the bond between the two of you, you know? Um, it, it seems strange to brush it in the opposite direction, but then you brush it down later. Where, Casey, where, where are you going? Cabins are this way. Uh, y'all going. Horsey land. Mm. Shut up. You got a cigarette? Oh, God. Been a while. Mm. Well, yeah, well, they've got me working here. It's not therapy, it's a work release program. You gotta be kidding me. They got you shoveling horse crap? <laughs> Still beats Juby, though. I don't know about that. Hell, yeah, well, I do. Trust me, you're way better off here. You should see the people here. I mean, half of them are dying or crippled or straight up. Sounds like you fit right in. Mm -hmm. All the horses, you get to ride them or anything? I told you I'm working. Shoveling, mopping, taking out the trash. You? I hate it. Well, let's get out of here. Wait, what? Off to Mexico, baby. You and me. Never look back. <laughs> what then? I don't know. You get a job at a bar. I'll fish. We'll figure it out. Come on, though. You don't need this. I'm afraid of getting caught. Who's afraid? We'd be in Mexico. I think I'm gonna try and ride this out. You're crazy. Just tell me about how much you hated it here. Yeah, well, I don't want to be like, like a refugee. You know, that's no better. Uh -huh. Come Let's take this. No, no, no. Come on. I told you I can't. You gotta go, all right? Come on. Hey, if you change your mind, call. Yeah. Uh -huh. Casey. Mr. Kennedy. I hope you weren't smoking in there. I swear. You lock everything up. You know, we have rules about late night visitors. Visitors? Don't play me for a fool. 
you will lose that battle every single time. Left. Thank you. There's a reason we have rules. We don't have many of them, but I insist <clears throat> that everyone abides by them. Are we clear on what's happening here? Good. Why don't you head back to the cabin, but don't wake anybody up when you go in, all right? I will. I mean, I won't wake anybody. Just go. Instructions don't make any sense. No, you have it right. I, I know I have it right, but it just doesn't make sense of how it works. Maybe I'll know something. Hey, you wanna come try? <laughs> Me? It's not really my thing. Come on, you can't rake all day. Be surprised. Well, you can share with me. Why don't you explain it to her? Take this. It's, it's easy, but you just can't uh, think about it too hard because it doesn't make sense of how it works. So uh, you put this part here. No, you, you can't Karen, leave it like that. Karen, you want to just take it then? It's a work of art. But you can't leave it like yeah, this. Yeah, well, I like my version. It looks great. But it's not right. It's, it doesn't, you can't just leave it it's like that. It's okay. It's a bridal. But it's a bridal. You didn't try. I can hear you, lean brain. <laughs> Casey. I didn't even do anything. He's the one who kept going on and on. The last thing I need is a hothead on my hands. Yeah, well, you saw how intense he was getting. Was just he has Asperger's. It's a kind of... A... Autism, yes, I know. I'm not stupid. He can't read people. He's obsessed on details. Intense. Yeah. Well, if you know so much about it, then why don't you just lighten up on him? Huh? And if that doesn't work, just be kind. Come on, let me show you something. See those kids? You see them? Yeah. Look at them. They're carrying around all kinds of problems, big problems. So? They look like they're feeling sorry for themselves, sitting back, blaming everybody else. They're working hard. They're helping each other, you know why? They've got nothing better to do. As long as they concentrate on hurting that horse, they're not thinking about their problems. Yeah, well, as soon as they're done, all their problems are still there, so what's the point? You don't get it, do you? They're bigger than the hand they were dealt. That's what they understand. Whatever. What about all your pissing and moaning? Does that make your problems go away? How's that working for you? Every moment you got is all you get. You want to squander it all away feeling sorry for yourself, be my guest. But let's be clear about something. It's a choice. If you're going to let your whole life be defined by a single mistake, you're going to have nothing but a life of mistakes. You know what? You don't know anything about me. All you people think you can fix me, but you have no idea how I feel done. And you know what you are? You're just some dumbass old cowboy who thinks you have a clue about everything you're talking about, but you don't! You don't! Let her go, she'll burn it off. I thought we agreed when I started working here that I was gonna be the therapist. You are. She's gonna be all right. But hell, what does a dumbass old cowboy like me know? She needs a daddy. And a short leash. Yeah, tomorrow's another day. God, I need 
find a cigarette. You don't want to be here either, do you? You probably think something's wrong with you too, huh? We both know that's not true. We're fine just the way we are. Yeah, there you go. Oh my God, this is amazing. What? You're the first person he's let touch him like that. I believe he likes you. <laughs> You wouldn't have to have a cigarette, would you? Sorry. I figured it was worth a shot. Why is he so wild? He's not wild. He was a racehorse. Pretty good one, too. He just got old. Don't they usually put them out to pasture or something? Not all of them. Just the really great ones. Blaze didn't make the cut, I guess. So what are they gonna do with him? I'm not sure, but Rex heard about him. He rescues racehorses like Blaze, rehabilitates them, and then finds them a new home. Rehabilitate? Well, Why? domesticates is probably better. I heard Rex talking about a dude ranch in West Texas that's interested in him. You want to try brushing him? You people and your brushing. It helps the bonding process, yeah, I know. You think I could give it a shot? I don't see why not. What a beautiful horse. Yeah, he's strong. I feel bad for him. Because he's retired? They take horses like Blaze and they just they start them before they're ready, you know? Before they're fully developed. And when they're done with them, they just... It's awful. So Rex retrains them? More like reprograms. So I heard you and Rex talking earlier. Sometimes he can be a little harsh. Yeah, I hate him. Oh, come on, he's not that bad. I beg to differ. How long have you been working with him? This is my third year. He started as a camper, but I took to it, so I came back to help. You were a camper here? Yeah. It was like so long ago. Yeah, my parents split up too. I heard. <sighs> Does everybody at this camp know everything about me? I only know because Rex built me in. Of course, whatever. Casey, I know Rex can be kind of tough on you sometimes, but he's right, you know? You gonna try and fix me too? You know, maybe I like the way I am, huh? Maybe, and, and that's fine. I mean, I felt that way. But then I realized that it's easier to just deal with the pain. Please stop with the mind games. Just know that I'm here if you ever want to talk. I've been there. Really? You've been there? Well, not exactly what you've gone through, but I've had my own set of issues. Did you lose your little brother right in front of you? No. You have no idea. You weren't there, okay? Casey, but I do know what it's like to blame everybody else for your pain. And to blame yourself. No, you don't know, okay? You weren't there. I was there. Me. You have no idea. None. I just watched it. He needed help and I didn't do anything.
I just, I just froze. Casey, there's nothing you could have done. Yeah, right. You know, my dad's a firefighter. <laughs> He'd always tell us stories about going into burning buildings. He's, he had the right equipment and, and the right gear. He was trained. No, it doesn't matter. He would have gone in there and saved him, and I didn't. I didn't do anything. I, I wanted to, I just, I couldn't, I just, I don't know. I let him die so that I could live. <laughs> Okay. Fine. We were worried about you. I'm fine. Just go to sleep, okay? Sarah told me that Blaze had taken a liking to you. You know about my problem. Gotta retrain him? Yeah, I gotta get him to stop thinking like a racehorse and start thinking like a riding horse. Well, how's that working out for you? Oh, <laughs> touche. Good one. Good one. Hmm. No, you know they say about difficult horses, they're not stubborn. They're just waiting for the right person to show up. I could use your help. Blaze could use your help. I'm not a horse trainer. I've just brushed him a few times. You don't have to be. It's all about teaching him to trust. It's gonna be a lot of work, but it'll get you out of a lot of your chores. Huh? As long as I'm stuck here anyways. So I'll meet you back here in an hour. So is this like a promotion? <laughs> an hour. Hmm. You hear that? I think we just got promoted. <laughs> Stay calm. Yeah, easy for you to say. He's a mirror, Casey. If you're nervous, he's nervous. You understand? Stay calm. Breathe. Breathe in. Okay, go ahead. This is stupid. Why can't you just hold him while I attach the lunge line? Because it's not about the lunge line. It's about knowing that you're in charge and making him trust you. That's what it's about. That's it. Bring that lunge line with you and come on out of there. I just started. Just bring me the lunge line and help out of there. Come on. I, I can't waste my time. I thought you said you wanted to help. Huh? I do want to help. Hey, why don't you tell him that? 
It's stupid. If you don't care, he doesn't care. I do care. All right, let's try it again. Go ahead, go for it. Do it. Take that lunge line and show it to him. I got nothing to hide. That's what you want to tell him. There you go. There you go. Relax. Now you're talking. There you go. You did good, huh? <laughs> you were right. We're in this together. He spent his whole life running around a track where he was king. Now we got to get him to slow down. Any other bright ideas? He knows you want to stop him. You're earning his respect. That's a good thing. He just keeps going past me. Shorten that lead. That'll help. Slow him down. Walk. There you go. There you go. You're doing great. All right. <laughs> Give him some praise. Good boy, good boy. All right, that was great. So let's do it again. Come on, let's go. <laughs> oh. Mike, come on. Here. No use going thirsty because I'm a jerk. Yeah, that, that makes perfect sense. Looks like you put in a full day. Hmm. So, you ever work with horses before? No. Rex must have a lot of faith in you. Why is that? Letting a newbie work with a racehorse? <laughs> parents would freak. Well, he must know my parents don't care what happens to me. That's a bit dramatic. Welcome to my life. You know, people care more than you think they do. I know that's not cool to think, but it's true. You know, you really need to stop talking about things you know nothing about. Let's go. Blaze, come on. Seriously. All right, let's go. You know what they're used to doing, running on the track. Not maneuvering in the real world, not like this. Well, we need to get him to act differently. We got to get him to have his head down. They're looking straight mm -hmm. ahead for that finish line. They're not aware of what's right in front of them on the ground. We got to get his head down. No, oh, gosh. Come on, get up, we'll try it again. Got to get his head down. Just get him used to walking like that, you know what I mean? Said I need to get his head down, right? Hey. You want it? Let's go. Come on. Right here. Hmm. 
<laughs> you want another one? Here. Come on. I there thought we I'd go. seen everything. That's a good idea. Come on. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> Casey. I've never had chicken like this at a ranch before. I, I wonder if it tastes different. Why would it taste different? I don't know. I just wonder. Mm. No, it tastes the same. I'm sorry. Why? So, what kind of music do you listen to? I'm guessing you're a rock chick. And you strike me as a boy band kind of girl. I like pop, top 40 stuff. Of course you do. <laughs> and you? I'm right, right? Yeah, I'm a rocker chick. Um, if you'll excuse me. The sloppy joes taste better here, and, and, and so do the hot dogs, but that's, that's pretty much it. Have you ever heard of Phonolux? I love Phonolux, yeah. No way. Mm -hmm. Do you have your new one? Nashville Skies? Yeah. Yeah, that's like my, my favorite. favorite. <laughs> Who's Phonolux? Oh. Um, I just downloaded this one. It's really good. I'll find it for you. <gasps> she's, she's choking. She's choking. She's choking. She's choking. She's choking. She's choking. <gasps> she's choking. She's choking. She's choking. She's choking. <laughs> Joking. Yeah, I know. But, but she's okay now. I know, Mike, I know. So, uh, why, why are you so upset? I, I just, I shouldn't have done something this time. I mean, even you, you got up and you got help and I just, I should have done something. I should have gotten help. But you can't now because it's over. Do it different next time. Can I have your attention for a minute? As you know, we've just got a few days left to camp. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Me too. I need to tell you a story that you might not be aware of. You know Blaze, the new horse this year? Of course. And he is a thing of beauty to be sure. Well, what you might not know is that Blaze was once a racehorse, not long ago. And the very thing that made him a great racehorse are the things that make him a sorry riding companion, that's for sure. You've seen uh, Casey and I working with him over the last couple of months. 
And what we were trying to do is get him to follow rather than lead, to retrain him from all the things he'd done in his whole youth, which is exploding out of a starting gate, even though his bones weren't even fully formed. It's one of God's miracles he even survived. Most of all is to get him to trust and to earn that from a horse is a lot of hard work and a lot of heart. And that is exactly what Casey has done. Now, hopefully he's going to be heading over to a riding ranch in West Texas. But we're going to have to prove to those folks over on that ranch that Blaze is ready for it. It's kind of like an audition. So normally I do that sort of thing, but uh, I think Casey, Casey has, has earned the, the honor. And so, Casey, nothing make me happier than if you present Blaze at his, you know, presentation. That would be, yes, sir. We did good today. Mike said we can have tomorrow off and go on the trail ride with everybody. Get you out of the corral for a bit. But you have to promise to behave, okay? No galloping off. <laughs> Casey! Dad? <laughs> I had a couple runs out this way. I thought I'd stop by and say hello. We're supposed to have visitors. Well, I already cleared that with Mr. Kennedy. He said we could make an exception this one time. So it looks like you got it pretty good out here. It's all right. Come here. I want you to see Blaze. Blaze, this is my dad. Dad, this is Blaze. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. I'm sorry? Uh, yes, I have been told about all the wonderful things that she's doing around here, and quite frankly, I couldn't be more proud. <laughs> it's been pretty cool. That you and Mom thought I'd be kicked out of this place by now. Well, I guess I'd be lying if I said I wasn't expecting that phone call. I'm trying, Dad. I really am. And I've been thinking a lot about things. I want things to be better. I know I've been messing everything up, but I really think they can be better. We can just start all over, you know? All we've got is what we've got right now, and I can make it better, I know I can, everything. And you and Mom, you guys can get back together and we can all be a family again. Doesn't that sound Casey, great, Dad? Casey. I'm gonna marry Kathy. <sighs> but, but, Mom. And your mom and I, we couldn't make it work. I mean, this is better. I know I put a strain on things, but you guys can work it out, right? No, you can not fix true. it. Yes. Yeah, it is true, Dad. I know I messed everything up, but I will fix it if you give me a chance. There's okay, Dad? For you to fix. This is so unfair. I don't know how you Casey. can even do this, Dad. Casey. Go away. Go.
Okay, guys, snacks are over here. Don't have my earbuds. How's it going? You okay? I'm fine. Casey, you, you haven't been a jerk in a long time. You're not going to start being a jerk again, are you? Sorry if I'm a jerk. Something happened. I heard your dad was here. Everything okay? Yeah, everything's great. He's getting married. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. You're not a jerk. I just don't want you to be a jerk. I, I, I don't think you're a jerk. So do you like the fiance? She's fine, I guess. I don't really know her. I'm just stupid. I thought that Casey, you... Casey, you, you don't think I think you're a jerk, do you? No, Mike, I don't. OK, good, be because, because I don't. I thought your mom and dad would get remarried. Yeah. How stupid is that, right? I wish the same thing about my parents forever. Even after my mom remarried. It's not stupid. Yeah, well, as long as we're having this little group therapy talk, you know what really bugs me? Then none of this even matters, because as soon as I get home, the mess I made is still there, and I... It's not completely true. I can't believe I tricked myself into thinking that things could actually be different for once. You know what this is? This is just all a big distraction, that's what it is. We should catch up. Let her go. But she needs us to cheer her up. Mike, not right now. I don't like it when she's sad. Mike, do you have a crush? I think I'm jealous. Why? You're not my girlfriend. What's up, baby? Quiet. Check this out. You're gonna wake everybody up, okay? You're drunk. I'm not drunk. I'm feeling good. Are you ready, baby? Just give me a second. Seriously, gonna choose a horse over me? Hey. Hey, you'll be okay. Rex will present you. Just listen to him and stay in the moment and don't run off, okay? I can't do this. What's that, babe? I said I can't do this, Cal. Wait, what? I guessed up and everything. We're headed to Mexico, baby. Come oh, on. I'm serious, Cal. What is wrong with you? I'm sorry, 
I shouldn't have asked you to come, okay? You're not even gonna go with me. This is all over. No. You're not flaking out of me now because of a stupid horse. <gasps> We're leaving. Now. Cal! No, I'm not coming. Cal, no, let go later. of me! You shouldn't be mean like that. Who's this? Mike, go back to bed. Is he being mean to you? What's it to you? Casey. Are you leaving? We are. Now get out of here. No, Cal, I'm not leaving with you. Is he your boyfriend? <laughs> yeah. Well, you don't treat her nice. I can treat her however I want. Let her go. Mike. She, she doesn't want to go with you. Let her go. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> okay. Party's over. Get out of the way, creep. When I tell you to go, we leave. Come on. Oh my gosh. Stop it! Get off of him! What are you doing? He's a freak! And you're a selfish jerk! You called me, remember? Just get out of here. Oh, crap. Come on, we gotta go! What's she doing? She took in some smoke, but she's fine. I spoke to Mike. He's okay. He was lucky. He had a guardian angel. Can we have a moment of privacy? Sure. You take all the time you need. Mr. Kennedy. I thought I told you you'd call me Rex. Two steps forward, one step back. You're all over the place. Save your lungs. There's nothing you need to say. What you did tonight, that's one of the bravest things I've ever seen, ever. You saved all our horses. You saved Blaze. And then you go on and risk yourself to save Mike. You risk your life. 
I am so darn proud of you. And I guarantee your dad is going to be proud of you and your brother looking down on you, he's going to be proud of you too. However, there still is the thing of how there was a fire in the first place. Mr. Kennedy, Rex, what happened? We I found your bag in the ashes. Now Mike and Claire, they filled us in on the details. Claire didn't offer much, but Mike, I don't think he knows what a lie is. You know, I warned you about sneaking out at night, I warned you about smoking, and I warned you about late night guests, but you do it anyway. I'm sorry. So here's the deal. I'm not gonna let you show blaze. Oh, but, but you even said so yourself. He responds better to me. I can't count on you. Oh, but you can. We made a mistake, but I can fix it. This is not a punishment. I just cannot count on you. So really what I need you to do is just ride out the last few days and try to stay out of trouble when the court's concerned. Look at me. So far as the court is concerned, you've completed your program, and I'm not gonna mention a word of this in my report. Casey, breaking the rules and always running away, that's something you do out of fear. That's who you think you are. That is not who you are. What you did on this night, that's who you are. And no matter where this life leads you, don't you ever forget it. You hear me? It's just not fair. I wish you wouldn't leave. I already called my mom. I hate seeing you leave this way, though. Hey, I like to go out with a bang. Don't you even want to see how Blaze does? Doesn't really matter anymore. You don't believe that. What I believe is that I always seem to screw things up. <laughs> Blaze is better off without me. You saved Mike's life last night. You saved the life of every horse at this ranch. From a fire I started. You didn't start it. Yeah, well, he was here because of me. Do you blame yourself for everything because you really believe it's your fault? Or is it just another excuse to feel sorry for yourself? I'm sorry. I'm gonna go see if my mom's here. And I'm sorry you had me to deal with. No, Casey, I'm sorry. And, and I didn't have to deal with you. It's just I hate seeing you beat yourself up over this. Okay, you did a great thing. Why can't you just focus on that? You gotta stop holding yourself back. You sound like one of them now. See you in a little bit. burned down. It's gone. Yeah. They say you saved me last night. It's the least I could do to repay you for protecting me from Cal. They, uh, they also said that you're, you're leaving? Yeah. Please, please don't go. I have to, Mike. You don't have to. Yeah, I have to. We need to talk. You take away her opportunity 
for good, solid therapy so you can get a good presentation. And then when she makes a mistake, you start practicing tough love at the expense of the horse. I don't get it, Rex. Her daddy came here and kicked the legs out from under her for some reason. I didn't do it. Now we got ranchers coming here. They're on their way. And if they don't find a riding horse, it all becomes about money. And they will ship Blaze off to Canada and to a slaughterhouse. Slaughter. Now that's what I'm looking at. So I gotta step up. All I know is, if she leaves here, thinking she screwed up everything again, I don't know if she's gonna get another chance. What is it you always tell the kids? You fall off, you get back on again. It's not the fall that defines you. It's what you do when you get back up. I thought she did a pretty good job. Don't you? No. I'm gonna miss you, Mike. Well, if you stick around one more day, then, then you'll have less time to miss me. <laughs> hey, listen to me. This whole time I've been here, no one has been smarter or taught me more than you have. And there's no way I could have lasted this long without you. And last night, you are my hero, Mike. You are a hero. <laughs> he punched me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you got right back up. You know, you didn't take no for... Those are the guys for Blaze. Yeah. You should be riding Blaze. I should. See you later, okay, Mike? Appreciate you, sir. Let's go ahead and get him in the barn. Hello? I'm writing Blaze. You should have. Blaze trusts me more than anyone. He stands a better chance with me leading him than anyone, and you know that. I am writing him. Well, if you're gonna do it, you better go get ready. <laughs> All right, let's go, buddy. Come on. You ready? Let's do this. <laughs>
awesome. <laughs> yeah. Plays as you as life. I don't know about that. You did great. Blaze did great. Yeah. Enjoyed it, didn't you? Did you do me a favor? What? Give yourself credit for it. And enjoy it. Hi, hi Casey. So, I, I know you're leaving today, and I just wanted to say uh, goodbye, but, but this time for real. I miss you. Yeah. Well, that's because I'm awesome. <laughs> yeah, you are awesome. Please, please don't be a jerk again. All right, I promise. Okay. Well, I, I don't like this, so uh, I'm gonna go. So, bye. <laughs> I guess they're taking them now, huh? Those taxes are so free, right? I'm never gonna see him again. There you are! <laughs> Look at you! I mean, you were unbelievable out there. How did you learn how to do that? I mean, you were amazing. I mean, I was absolutely blown away. I seriously am. And Casey Neal told me about the fire. How you could have been killed. Mm How -hmm. you could have been. Okay. Baby, I'm just, I'm just so, so proud of you. I gotta go, okay? Listen, I'll be right back. What you two did under difficult circumstances. So are they just gonna take him? No, that wasn't meant to be. But I saw you, you shook hands. They offered me a better deal. The place was amazing. You said so yourself. Money is just little pieces of green paper mm. looking for a new home, that's all it is. What's going to happen then? You know, you got so many good questions, Casey. You might want to talk to the man who bought him. Standing right behind you. Dad? <laughs> what? Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, there's still lots to work out. I got to keep that horse here at your ranch, Rex. I know. I'm going to get out of here before all the hugging starts. Thanks, Rex. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. You can keep your grades up. You can come here on weekends and during the summer. I don't see any problem with that. I can do that. And what about mom? Oh, it was your mama's idea. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Thank Just you. Just do me a favor. Don't go burning any more barns down. You hear me? I want to make you and mom proud. You already have, baby. I love you. I love you, too. Please. <laughs>